If someone asks us the circumference of the Earth, we will able to answer it easily. Because lots of satellites have already mapped the globe and have found its radius and circumference. And, we all know how to Google out the circumference and say the answer as 40,075 kilometers. But, there was a Greek man who measured the circumference of the Earth in an era when there were no satellites and smartphones. That man was Eratosthenes, who was working as a librarian. He measured the circumference using only a couple of sticks and with the help of some basic mathematics in 240 BC. Just like how Eratosthenes used sticks and some basic maths, we too are recreate the same experiment with two rods and basic maths. More importantly, only a few people have tried it in India. And we will be among the few people. But, this experiment is not like other experiments. It can't be performed on all days. It can be done only on two particular days in the year. Anyways, let's be- First, let's start with a simple experiment. If we shine a torchlight directly above an object, we won't be able to see the shadow. But, if we shine it at some other angle, we will be able to see its shadow. Similarly, at few instances, the sun rays fall exactly above an object. In other words, the sun would be directly overhead. For example, when the sun rays fall exactly above a building, we won't be able to see any shadow. If you ask if the sun would be directly overhead every day, the answer is no. This phenomenon is observed only on particular days namely zero shadow days. But, the date of the zero shadow days varies across cities. Which means that if it is zero shadow day in one city, we can't assure that it is zero shadow in another city as well. The reason for that is that the Earth is spherical. Let's take an example that it is zero shadow day in Venice. But, another city Rome which is located on the same longitude does not experience the phenomenon at the same time. The reason can be seen from this image. So, if the sun rays fall vertically on Venice, they would fall sideways on Rome. Therefore, if the sun is overhead to Venice, it won't be overhead to Rome, and vice versa. Let's see how this concept of zero shadow day is related to finding the circumference of the Earth. I am here in Chennai and in Chennai. The zero shadow day falls at 12.08 p.m. on April 22, 2020. So, on the previous day, I and my friend in Mumbai had done some preparations for that. Both of us took a 1 meter rod and placed it on a vertical surface. Before both of us did this, we checked if the surface where we placed the rods was flat using a bubble level reader. According to predictions, the shadow of the rod in Chennai could not be seen at 12.08 p.m., but the shadow could be seen at Mumbai at the same time. On April 22nd, at 12.08 p.m., when there was zero shadow in Chennai, I called my friend who was in Mumbai and told him to measure the length of the shadow in Mumbai. He replied that the length of the shadow was 20.8 cm in Mumbai. Using trigonometry, we get the tan of this angle namely theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. Which is 20.8 cm divided by 100 cm. Therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 20.8 by 100. Through calculations, we get theta is equal to 11.76 degrees. Let's go back to our Earth model. Now we know that theta is equal to 11.76 degrees. We know that in a transversal, alternate interior angles are equal. Therefore, the angle between Chennai and Mumbai from the center of the Earth is 11.76 degrees. Next, I measured the distance between the locations of the two rods using Google Maps to get 1318 kilometers. After this, it becomes easy. Using direct and inverse proportions, we get the answer. 
If 11.76 degrees equals 1,318 kilometers, what is 360 degree equal to? So, distance is equal to 360 times 1,318 divided by 11.76 which is equal to 40,376 kilometers. The actual circumference is 40,075 kilometers which means that there is around 1% error in my calculation. There are two reasons why there is this slight margin of error. Number one is that the Earth is not a perfect sphere. Number two is that, measurement of the length of shadow is not accurate. Anyway, we have just found a rough approximate to the circumference of the Earth. While doing this experiment, we now have Google Maps to find the distance between two cities. But when Eratosthenes did this, there was no Google Maps to help him. So, he hired an assistant to walk for 787 kilometers from Alexandria to Sion to measure the length of the shadow and come back the same way to give him the news. I feel pity for the man who walked 1,574 kilometers for this result, but doesn't get any recognition. Use this quarantine time wisely. Newton did research on gravity during plague quarantine. Similarly, I did this experiment during COVID-19 quarantine. Now it's your turn. What are you going to do?